Huh, I always call it mini log. Hmm, I wonder what elements of luck there is in this race. So as you can see, everything about this race is all about luck because there's a number 7 everywhere and as we all know, 7 is a very lucky number. From our 7 to 77 with 1777 starting cash and 277 starting lives and 77% of modifiers plus 77 plus 7 of each tower, so although I'm not entirely sure what's out of the tower restrictions, but um, you know what, still a lucky race I think. Once um, he hit, starts hitting a what? There we go. It should be more pop. <coughs> Now this strategy relies heavily on Churchill, so if you don't have a uh, Churchill, uh, I feel bad for you. Uh, you're going to do a dark, you're going to do a dark monkey strategy. Place a dark monkey at the end, set to last, and then get a three to zero dark monkey before you get your farm, before you can get Churchill, and uh, yeah, it's a whole other thing. Uh, but either way, if you do have the monkeys required, uh, set your Churchill to strong and your dark monkey to last before you go ahead and set to round fifteen. Now uh, the first tower we're going to get is our is our farm, so we're going to be patient. And yes, Churchill should be able to solo until then. Send to nineteen. Upgrade our farm to a two zero two first. Wait a few seconds before you send to round twenty five, and send Churchill back at first. And wait a few more seconds before you activate the reverse motor because you want Churchill to pop as many black moons as possible. Once you get a marketplace, you can send on dirty. Get a uh, 4 four two zero juggernaut. And when you can afford it, send on 35. Uh, once this is over, activate the track extensions. And we're going to place down an Ice Monkey right here, get a 320 Ice Monkey before you can send to round 39. And now we're going to place down a Ninja Monkey right here. We're going to get a 301, that should be enough for most cases. And we're also going to go ahead and get a Dark Monkey right here. We're going to set this Dark Monkey to Strong. We're also going to set Churchill to Strong. Not sure why our Dark Monkey wasn't set to Strong, but sure, whatever. Uh, there we go, and now we can send to round 40 solo. Activate Churchill's ability as soon as he's within range of the white class balloon. There we go, and now we can send around 45. At which point, we're going to go ahead and place another Ice Monkey right here. Send around 49. Place another Ice Monkey right about here. There we go. Now we're also going to place a fourth Ice Monkey right here. This is so that he can catch the white class balloons. <laughs> and we're going to place a Dark Monkey right above Churchill, right about here, which um, if you place Churchill correctly, you should be able to do so. There we go. Uh, we'll come back with this Dark Monkey later. Uh, and we're also going to get a Blue Gunner. You'll see why later. Set it to Strong. Then get a 301 Blue Gunner and set it to round 55. Uh, the second that the first Moab comes out, uh, to the T Junction, activate the track extensions. From now, from here on out, we're going to rely a lot on track extension, so uh, get ready for that. And uh, yeah, coming back to this Dark Monkey, we're going to go ahead and get an Ultra Juggernaut. Now we're going to send on 60. And we're going to activate this track extension as soon as we can. Again. There we go. And now we should be able to afford the Ultra Juggernaut. Now, uh, we're going to help out a little bit with the Moet class balloons, let's actually use Churchill's ability to help pop the uh, Moet class balloons here once again and we're going to go ahead and get a sticky bomb, set it to strong, this is to help us, um, sorry to help all the towers uh, pop the Moet class balloons and once again we're going to activate the track extensions. Now there will be some leaking balloons that are going to leak soon so uh, get Blue Jitsu to help you with that. Uh, now in the meantime, we're going to go ahead and get Cosmo Master. And how we're going to do that is once we hit about 10k in cash, uh, we're going to sell our farms, our ninja, our ICR, and our Google Gunner. So that we can afford it. Uh, send on 70. And once again, we're going to activate the track extension. <coughs> now at this point, uh, once we hit 10k, we're going to sell off our towers, activate ch both of Church's ability, while we get the Cosmo Master. Now we're going to send on 75. 
And in the meantime, activate this ability once again, and yes, we're going to activate this ability a lot of times. But don't worry about the cost, you should be able to keep all your fields. I'm going to place down another Ice Monkey. Uh, not place down another Ice Monkey, but I'll get back our Ice Monkey. And we're going to place another one right here so that we can pop the my class moves a bit faster. And also do more damage to the moves up front. So we're going to go ahead and get another Ice Monkey here. And yes, we're going to activate the track extension one more time. And yeah, that costs a lot of money, but it's worth it. Now we can full send to the rest of the rounds. And we shouldn't have any problems dealing with it. And there we go, that's how you did this race. Wow, this this uh, race took me one hour to record just because I kept messing up the uh, timings. But uh, yeah, that should be it for this race. And actually, I think you can sell this Ice Monkey just so that uh, you can get rid of of uh, Churchill. Uh, ac activate Churchill's uh, web ability soon. And activate the track extensions for one last time. You want to activate it one last time so that uh, you don't leave any blooms. <coughs> and once this ends, you save a bit of money by activating the reverse motor. Actually, I don't think you should activate the reverse motor. There we go. And there we go, a timing of 5 minutes and 19 seconds. So let's see how we do against the rest of the world. Hmm, okay, this is probably a fake one. But the lowest timing is 1 minute and 52 seconds, which is um, impressive. And... Wow, that's a really big steep between the 8th guy and my placement, which is 5 minutes and 19 seconds. Like, Jesus Christ, how, how, do, you, how do you people do this race so quickly? And wow, there's only like 42 people here, so... Um, that's impressive, and I'm number one on my own mini data board, wow. Uh, so yeah, uh, understandably this race is very difficult, so um, yeah, uh, hopefully this tutorial help you guys, um, make it easier for you guys, uh, and I hope it is relatively easy for you guys, not for me, to me, what, 20 attempts to get it, finally get it, but hey, that's it, thank you guys for watching, don't forget to subscribe, leave a like if you like this video, leave a comment if you have anything else to add, and I'll see you guys in the next video.